So Skyrim Special Edition has been out for a few weeks now, and although it's touted as a remaster of the previous game, very little was actually changed as far as texture quality and just all around the aesthetic of the game. Yes, god rays were implemented, a few water and bloom things were changed, but at the end of the day, I think what Skyrim Remastered is more than anything else is a awesome platform to build off of. The stability is there and the mod potential is also there, but it definitely looks like a game that was made quite a few years ago. Well, it's my goal in this video to try and at least help you guys to fix that. So basically I'm going to be showing you what in my eyes are five mods that you could download to make your game look a little bit better. This is going to only be an Xbox One version of this video, although all these mods are available on PC as well. There are some better options for PC that I'm going to be making a totally separate video for, but for you Xbox users, I wanted to get you guys some mods that will basically make your Skyrim just look a little bit sharper or add in an effect that will, I think is a big improvement here or there. With all that being said, if you guys do enjoy this video, I encourage you to consider subscribing. But with that, let's get right into it. So the first mod I do think you guys should download is Rain and Snow FX. This is probably one a lot of you have heard about and probably one a lot of you haven't heard about. Basically, this is one of the mods that was available day one for Skyrim. This mod author did get the pre-release to the creation kit, so he was able to port his mod over before the initial release of the game. For that reason, a lot of you guys probably downloaded this day one, but also for that reason, anyone that wasn't really paying attention to mods day one probably never saw this as it got buried a few days later with the massive release of all the other mods. Regardless of that, what does this mod actually do? Well basically, as you know, many of the northern regions of Skyrim will have all these different snows and just different weather conditions. Well now as you walk through them, you'll actually see your armor get kind of snowy. It's going to get that white effect on it, as well as your character will actually breathe while he's running or walking and you could actually see the breath effects in the air. This will apply not only to you, but to NPCs also. These are relatively small changes, but I think they make a pretty big difference. On top of that, you also do have water effects, so basically on top of like how there's the snow, you'll also have a dripping and wet effect that isn't kind of white, it's just a darkened wet dampness feel. That's going to happen when you either come out of swimming in a lake or something like that or when it's raining. Obviously this isn't a massive graphic overhaul, but I think the little changes that this mod does make will make your game feel just a little bit nicer and honestly feel a little bit more modern. So next up we have Realistic Water 2. So basically what this mod is going to do is, well, actually make water look a little bit more realistic and just improve the overall quality of water. So the way this video is laid out is that actually the first clip you're going to see is without the mod installed and then the second one will have the mod installed. I'll put a little note in the bottom right corner so you can see that. So it's going to affect all the different kinds of water in the game, that including kind of regular water that's not moving as well as water that is moving, lakes, ponds, oceans, etc. So it's going to just be a flat out retexture of the water it's going to be improving the texture quality one as well as in my eyes making the textures all that much nicer. If you actually look side by side for some of these you will see that the realistic water textures are just clearer like the old Skyrim ones do look very blurry and it's almost like you, there's like a filter on there that making you not see it but with realistic water it is again just a little bit clearer and all around it just really increases the texture fidelity of water in Skyrim pretty much across the whole game. I definitely think it's a must download because honestly you're going to be interacting with water pretty often and I think it's at least a marginal to large improvement over it. So up next we have Enhanced Blood Textures, this is a must download for a lot of people, probably me included, honestly all these are kind of a must download for me, but regardless, what Enhanced Blood Textures is going to do is 1. Change the way blood acts in the game, and 2. Make blood just look a lot better. So when installing this mod, you're going to have a few different options on how to configure it, at least on PC, I believe those are implemented in some way on consoles as well, regardless, it's flat out just going to increase the textures of blood, and honestly, I think just make blood look a hell of a lot better. It's going to make the color a little bit darker, and I just again think it looks much better when you kill an enemy there'll be more blood there but to get into that it actually also changes a little bit of the way blood works in the game so now when you attack enemies more blood will come out and also when you attack enemies let's say you hit them a few times but don't kill them and then they start running at you well they're actually going to leave a trail of blood behind them which is kind of cool it's a really nice effect depending on how badly injured they are it's going to leave different size trails like if you only hit them a few times it might be a few drops here and there but if they're really wounded it might be kind of like a spilling going on as they change you. On top of that all, when you actually kind of finish off an enemy, there will be a blood pool that forms around their body on the ground, and it actually makes it look kind of gruesome, honestly, but with this mod installed, it does make all the blood look so much nicer, and I honestly just think it's a huge improvement over the default. One, in the way the textures look, because obviously this is a huge improvement over those, and two, I just think this mod makes it a bloodier game, which is nice, especially when the blood looks so good. 
So next up we have Skyrim graphics overhaul. So doesn't the name of that mod sound very fitting for this video? Well, this is actually going to be kind of a larger mod changing a lot of different things about the game. Basically what it is is a combination of a bunch of littler mods that the mod author did get permission to use from regular old Skyrim and he's putting them into one big mod for Skyrim special edition. So it does change actually a lot of things. First and foremost, there's going to just be more foliage and plants all around and the texture of those is going to be bumped up a little bit. So it does just look a lot nicer and honestly it gives a little bit of livelihood to your game. On top of that, animals are meant to be looking better. There's new textures on them and the fur is just meant to look a little bit furrier. But actually where I see the biggest improvement when using this mod is when you actually look at certain things. Like for example, if you're looking at some of the different wood objects, not like the wooden posts or anything like that, but the wooden objects, you could definitely tell the textured bumps there. It actually looks like they're three dimensional now where before some of the textures just looked flat or 2D. Watch for this video when I actually look at like the wood table there and then actually look at some of the wood posts, you can instantly tell which was from Vanilla Skyrim and which wasn't. That's more or less what this mod is aiming to do though. It's a lot of little fixes, none of the massive big fixes. You're probably going to want another mod for the actual like terrain overhauls and stuff like that, but at least for the time being, logs and different plants and obviously a lot of the different objects in the game are overhauled by this mod and I think it is a huge improvement. So last but not least, we have Vivid Weathers. This is by far my favorite mod for honestly just making your game look better, and obviously it is a weather mod as well. But then you may be asking, well, why is a weather mod actually on this list? Well, Vivid Weathers is actually going to do a little bit more just than add in new weathers. On top of that, it's actually going to add in a new Vivid effect into Fallout 4 that's going to basically change around how some different illuminations and god rays work, and I don't want to get into the nitty gritty with that, but basically I just think it makes fire and just some different objects in the game just look much sharper and better. So after installing this mod and walking around some different like fire pits, especially in some of the different cities, you're just going to see the vibrance that this offers. I think it makes the game, especially at nighttime, look way better. And honestly, after installing this mod, it just, I love looking at things. It, I just think it links so many different objects, even though it doesn't actually increase the texture quality of them, look so much better and more enjoyable to look at. On top of that, obviously it adds in a bunch of different weathers, which I also think are a big improvement, especially when you're traveling in the fog and stuff like that. That might just be because it's harder to see the old ugly textures, but regardless, I definitely think this is a must download and this is my like go-to, hey, I want to make Skyrim look a little bit better. This is what I download or activate. Gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you found this at least slightly helpful. I'm sure some of you were using some of these mods, but maybe you found one you weren't using previously. Obviously, there's gonna be probably a second video to this series, I guess, as we get more and more releases. I already know of some different texture mods that are gonna be making their way over to Xbox One, as well as stuff like the Footprints mod, which are kind of must downloads. Regardless, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later!